You're welcome back. This is News for Alicia, most authoritative news analysis platform is brought to you by Bank of Africa, strong as a group and close as a partner. MT and everywhere you go, Ashasi University, educating ethical and entrepreneurial leaders for Africa. Consolidated Bank Ghana, we stand with you, Duraplus, where Duraplus goes, water flows. We lead, we build you home for you. Star Assurance, your solid partner, and Rehoboth Properties. Uh, let me share a couple of messages with you and then we'll continue uh, in the last about 20 minutes that we have and to see how we can shape the path going forward uh, on this issue. Uh, Guy G says that MPP shouldn't have been subjected to defend this deal at this time, so close to election. Instead of manifesto discussion, see what we MPP have done to ourselves. It takes only corruption perception to lose an election. Where were our so-called intellectuals? NDC walked out of parliament when the law establishing a Japan Royalties Limited was passed. We have given them a campaign message. I wish for my party, Guy G, in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, but what is inaccurate is that the law establishing a special purpose vehicle they worked out on it. They didn't work out on a law establishing a special purpose vehicle. They actually were not against it at all. So that's why we must hold them to tell us where exactly they depart. Because in principle, they voted for that oh, law. I've said it here. Right. They voted for that law. Oh, assumption that I empowered said it the, <laughs> the fund to set up a special purpose vehicle and to deal as a commercial entity well, with the it, independence yeah. that it needs to be able to well, work. Sanjay, that was my preliminary um, comment. <laughs> that was your preliminary comment? Yes, that was okay. my preliminary comment. Uh, Manche Bruce, <laughs> Manche Bruce, the second in Takra, this says, is it the the NDC has no uh, moral turpitude to criticize the Ejapa deal after sleeping on the job for over two years in parliament. I'm yet to hear a superior argument from them regarding how bad the deal is. Their evasive arguments and pontifications would lead us nowhere. By the way, why have you put both uh, Tony Obing and Edu G, who are NDC members, <laughs> why isn't there an MPP? <laughs> uh, but you gave one of our uninterrupted uh, to the finance minister. Okay. <laughs> you should not be commenting about this. It's okay, let's proceed. The thing Edu G has done to me on social media <laughs> and the NDC people have done to me last week and this week. You know, we put out the flyers ahead of the show. And then they will come and take me to the cleaners for not re putting NDC people on the show. Meanwhile, they don't even know who we have uh, arranged to come on the show. And, and, uh, and, by, and by the way, from I, the no, arrangements no, I mean, that no were being made, there's... yesterday at the time when you were complaining about this, the production team tell me that they have been working with the NDC since Wednesday. So anyway. But we can, uh, okay. And you know anything this you person. post on my world gets published on some media platform. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't know about that. <laughs> they took the easy one and they put it on my name. I was and surprised. It. You know, but you know that we shared okay. it together. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, I just read Manche Bruce's uh, comments. Uh, I've got a couple more of your comments uh, here. All right. Will the, will the finance minister, with the benefit of hindsight, have submitted the Japa contract to parliament earlier than 48 hours to its rising? Okay. Uh, that's a question by Sam. Now, let me get back to you guys in the studio. And um, so, can we, can we be able to tell this? Mm. Let me start with you. Can we tell this? As we sit, if, as the government suggests, the NDC actually experimented this module, what exactly is your point of departure as far as this thing is concerned? If it is the consultation or time, at this time, have you not received enough information? Shall I respond? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have with me the cabinet memorandum on the establishment of a national vehicle to hold all of government good interests. 
Ministry of Finance Economic Planning, Dr. Kobna Dufour, and is dated 17th day of December 2010. And when this matter went to cabinet, the Attorney General at that time was asked to provide his legal opinion on the transaction. And in the legal opinion of the Attorney General, the Attorney General took the view that you cannot use funds belonging to the public, because royalties are public funds, for the purpose of what is envisaged. And so the Attorney General's legal opinion, among other things, informed the decision to abandon this. And that's almost like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I find you it- can't, You can't use public funds. For the purpose of this. For the purpose of this. Yes. And, and, and that opinion is cast in stone? No. Is the it, point, is it a superior the, no, opinion? No, the point I'm making is mm -hmm. that the president then had to defer okay. to the superior opinion of the attorney general of the day. Unlike in this case, where, for instance, the president gave executive approval to the transaction, operationalizing the transaction, even before his attorney general, who is supposed to be his principal legal advisor, proffered his opinion. And in fact, you notice that the, uh, the executive approval is dated 20, 22nd March 2020. Look at the various legal opinion proffered by the attorney general. They so happen, even after all these transactions have gone through the processes. Question, if the president's legal advisor now gives an opinion that is more or less contrary, then there will be a pressure, more or less, on the attorney general to tailor the opinion to fit that particular narrative. And that is why I'm saying that in your initial, you know, attempt what's, to what's, hold what's, me to what's, straight, what's the, what's, your initial attempt the, to hold me the, to straight proof. Can I ask you a question? What's, the, what's the best approach that cabinet must first listen to your lawyer? Wait, wait. That cabinet must first have a say on what it wants to do before it goes to the lawyers for them to advise, or it is, should be the other way around. You want to do something. Mm -hmm. Agreements come. Cabinet evaluates everything and gives approval. Mm -hmm. And executive approval. Mm -hmm. Now, you do not want the situation, and, and, and with the greatest respect, where, for instance, in the American Mutilineal State, executive approval is given, meaning that the presidency, cabinet, and everything is okayed. The thing goes to parliament, and then we realize that the price has been inflated, and then the entire thing is abandoned. You do not want that kind of situation. So you listen to your lawyer, who is your attorney general, that this is what we intend to do. As president, I intend to give a legal uh, 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 executive approval relative. What do you say to that? Your lawyer says, go ahead, do not. Now you have a situation where the transaction is done. You now go to the lawyer. The lawyer, this is what I want to do. I have it done. What do you have to say? Then the lawyer provides all of this. Uh, so, you, you, so I'm mm. asking you a very simple question. In the scheme of things in running like a government, even take your company, if you are running your company, you are telling me that before the board will decide on a particular project, on how they want to, you know, uh, realize the vision or the dreams and goals of the entity, they will first go to a lawyer before they take the decision, or that the decision will actually be taken, and then a lawyer will be asked to advise. Senior, in answering this question. Are you not turning the method? I'm not turning the method. I'm not turning, turning the method. I'm not turning down. anything. And, and you see it demonstrating in the transaction and how it was executed. Mm. For instance, on the 18th day of June 2020, uh, this is a letter coming from Minister Ken to the Secretary to the President, Nana Santi Bidye. You, you see, in Martin oh. situation, <laughs> this whole project <coughs> went to Parliament even before Martin Amidu was given the opportunity to look at it. That's so, no, 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 wait, 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 you see, wait, you see, wait. I'm telling you I the am, correct trajectory. No, this you is see, not speculation. No, now wait. this is not a now question wait. of speculation. Now, now wait, now wait, proceed. now wait. You proceed. Parliament, we have to ask the question, did it approve the budget for it? In Martin Amidu's advice, did he not indicate that 
he had not even received the full complement of the documentation to enable him to come to a firm conclusion on what should happen? So the point I'm making is that to avoid that kind of situation, you need the lawyer's advice. So you come back to the same point. Where if the lawyer with a full compliment now tells you that I've given you a no objection, when you go ahead and do it, you will not have this kind of uh, situation. They say because, when you go to because, equity, you go with clean hands. My hands are you very are, clean. No, you are my hands asking, are very clean. Are I have that, demonstrated you to you that, that they do it this differently. Is, no, I'm saying Meanwhile, that you this didn't is do no, it that way. I'm saying that this is a transaction uh -huh. that was shared ten years ago. I am surprised that today we have decided to do something that is inimical to the economic interests of this mm. republic. And when we are put to straight proof, mm. we go back and take something that was abandoned 10 years ago, a justification why we have to go on this path. Mm. That place should not be the conversation today. Okay. In any case, okay. the establishment of the Ghana Gold Company mm. was a matter that was completely, and you'll notice mm. that throughout the four year administration of John Muhammad, this matter never came up in any of our national conversation. You cannot com compare the situation where you can see clear cases of conflict, clear cases of lack of transparency, clear cases of infractions of laws, and then you say 10 years ago, similar thing happened. Mm. That okay. should not be our national well, conversation well, thank today. thank you. Thank you. Now, let me come to you. So, how do you just oppose what he's saying now? On questions of principle, purely, is the NDC being candid? Absolutely. When it participated in 2018 in passing the, the law itself, this is the mother legislation, and in that legislation, it agreed. It did not disagree. It did not suggest. There's no, there's <laughs> nothing to suggest that it even remotely, you know, had any uh you know concerns oh. about things like this look it empowered the fund to do these number of things seek the best possible financial returns on investment having regard to internationally recognized best practices it should do this best 20 percent of the mineral income received by the fund to Minerals Development Fund. Absolutely. Hold and manage minerals equity interest of the Republic and exercise all rights related to the minerals equity interest. Manage, deal in, and invest minerals income accruing to the Republic received by the fund. You say they can do all of these things. They should set up a special purpose vehicle for the purposes of all of these things. What is the point of this agreement today? Yes, sir. Something, as, as I started with, I mean, I am not, and I'm not stating the position of the NDC because mm -hmm. I don't have the power to do no, that. No, I'm saying listen to but, them, yeah, and then on the basis of the law, just oppose what they are saying. That's right. Does it make sense to you? So, so, so the, the, the idea that we should look for more for our mineral royalty receipt mm -hmm. is fundamental. It's, for me, it's very important, and I see that has oh, been what yes. the, 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 act, the, the act is saying and what, what the proposal is also Without saying. More. And, and for this EJAPA thing, uh, if indeed it seeks the, to, to maximize the receipt. No, you see, he made a point <laughs> that they, they took an attorney general's advice, yes. Amidu, yeah. that you can't use public funds for this kind of project. Mm. So why do you pass a law that allows this kind of project? That's the question I'm asking. Well, I mean, um, well, if 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 uh, <clears throat> the if the position of the Attorney General mm -hmm. was reviewed to see that there is a possibility of getting more for the resource that we have, then I'm sure it it, it, is, it doesn't go against the interest of the state for that to happen. So okay. for me, I don't have an issue with that. So now, so 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 on principle, then on principle, then. It is wrong, and we have to say no. Sanchez, it is wrong no, for Sanchez, the NDC me, no, Sanchez, to suggest me. to suggest that their time <laughs> they abandoned it on a principle that you cannot use public funds for were, a special you know, purpose vehicle in monetizing uh, royalties. You see, when in 2018 they, without any equivocation, endorsed a law for that purpose. Something, something. Before you answer, something. When the NDC came. 
this government had a whole idea of how to use some of the receivables. So for instance, ESLA, they had to create ESLA PLC to use it to do this kind of transaction. So government had its own policy orientation. And but that Ed, is what I'm saying this, this is, this is my... Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to... It's I'm just trying to raise the issue. issue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, but I mean, I think that if a government has its, uh, uh, you know, its, its plan, and uh, it doesn't yes. go against mm -hmm. the interests of the state in trying to rake more for the receipt from mineral resources, I don't think there is, there's a problem for probably NDAC supporting that, look, look for more from the, from the uh, uh, mineral receipt, mineral rarity receipt. Now, what I have issue with, I mean, and I'm coming from the public, mm. I am coming from uh, the public and then you are a citizen of this country, that um, you have an agreement that doesn't have a termination clause or the type of termination clause that you have. I don't know, you are lawyers, and I wonder uh, any agreement of this sort would would have uh, a no termination. No, my senior that, will not okay one yeah. from his chair. Yeah. So, so I, I believe that that's an issue for us. We are that, we are we are, there we are worried. No, there's no no termination in this agreement. That, yes, but <laughs> the, the nature of the termination clause that you see, it it, it was well, a view. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, please, <laughs> let's, Look, let's when we are speaking to documents yeah. and the facts, let's not suggest otherwise. Mm -hmm. You cannot say there is no termination in this no, agreement. I said the because nature there is. of the no. termination. You see, the I said nature. the nature. Yes. No, no you let, said, I said where the, there is no termination. Or, or the okay. nature of the termination okay. that you see. Where okay. it's and, and, contaminants and, 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 yes. with the mining, the life yes. of the lease. Yes, and, and you know, the life of the lease is, 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 is not, it's actually not definite. Yes. Uh, um, it dip, I mean, in terms of the total number of mines that are involved, mm. each mining company may have different mining uh, lease uh, period. So it is not... If, you know, sort of a one fit all size. A company A may have 25 years, some may have 15 years, some may have different years. So that's again, uh, it's an issue that is worrying to, to, to us. Again, for ousting the, 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 uh, the powers of the judiciary, parliament, and even the public from, in a way, criticizing the, 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 the agreement mm. or the deal mm. is also something, an issue that worries us. Something, do you because, have the relationship thank agreement? You. Because, thank something, you. do you have thank the relationship you. agreement? Thank you, I do. Uh, uh, yes, um, uh, well, Dr. Thierry Champong. Oh, and, and he's still there, sorry. Yes, uh, you forgot about it. <laughs> it's, 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 you can't be <laughs> the, the, the lawyers. The lawyers have been right. Feel yeah. sorry, feel yeah. sorry. <laughs> yes, on the term of the lease, uh, make the comment, but I just want to read one paragraph for the concluding part of Martin Amidou's advice. He said, it is my advice that before the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning takes any further step in this matter, it should hold discussions with the Ministry of Lands and Forestry to enable the two ministries brainstorm on the appropriate mechanism to achieve the objects contemplated in your letter under reference. And it was so abandoned. No, 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 so hold on. <laughs> If you say Amidu says you cannot do, you have misrepresented Amidu. You say you no. Say, you have misrepresented no, him. No, he didn't say I am you cannot that. do. He no, says no. he says. Can you read the entire you take, opinion? You take it is not step. fair. It is not fair. I, I will not, not read fair. the entire. I read the it conclusion. It is not fair. You go to conclusion <laughs> because if you pick uh, even Gloria Kufu's or the opinion, her conclusions are always different mm. in terms of tenor. So but you see, let me if, finish. You so see, he says, the, point you are raising the mineral about development Amidu, fund bill can serve as a basis of these discussions. And even the very last paragraph before he signs off, he says, it is my hope that you will find the foregoing opinion useful to you in coming to a decision as to the most efficacious mechanism and process to use in establishing the entity to hold the nation's gold interest without sacrificing the inalienable uh, patronomy of the citizens of Ghana entrusted into the trusteeship of the president. This was not a outright rejection by the Attorney General. But what yes. do you mean by not uh, an outright rejection? I mean, I mean, look, we are dancing around the same issue. Bottom mm. line is, mm. fast forward 2010, mm. the, uh, or 2018, the Minerals Income Investment Fund was created, right. which gives the uh, the state the ability to collect these mineral royalties that were going hitherto into the consolidated fund 
So whether or not it was legal, et cetera, clearly, I mean, there, there's a legal regime around that and a government can create and so Moto has actually done that. The question really is on the lease itself. And remember, there are 48 leases in question here covering 18 mineral projects, mm. um, two of which are, are prospecting licenses. So they are not sort of producing as, as yet when you read mm. Schedule 1 of the, of the agreement. And when you read Section 2.2, as you read, the way I see it is um, as at the date that the last of the leases has expired mm -hmm. or being sort of uh, renewed. What I infer from this, really, from a policy angle, is that do we envision the SPV, by, through which we've assigned these rights to, mm -hmm. listing on the stock market in perpetuity? Basically, is it going to be after 30 years still be listed and, you know, declaring dividend, et cetera? Or do we then envision closing the fund, you know, at some point when the last of those leases has expired? So it, it, it's a fundamental point, which I suspect was sort of framed in legal language. What, what, do you, what, really, what do you say about the argument that you are setting up a company to, to deal in a certain business? Why do you give it a timeline to work? A company, you are setting up a company. Well, it, in this case, it's a company, but it's also a fund. And there are funds that are closed, you know, like once you achieve the objective, you can actually close the fund. So um, what is very important is of the eight, 48 leases, when does the last of them expire? Because that then will tell you when, in, in, in principle, you would expect the fund to have closed down. Or if the government or whoever is in question at that point in time decides to extend the renewal of the license, mm. then does the fund still continue operating and still generating dividends and paying back you know, to, to the state? That okay. is where I think we really we, we, we need to discuss Dr. with us to the, the legalities. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, we have run out of time. And thank you also very much. Dr. Theo Echampong is uh, economist and political risk analyst. Dr. Tony Obing is founder and president, Africa Institute of Extractive Industries. Uh, he has served in this uh, office uh, previously. So um, this is the basis on which he is uh, participating in this discussion. Godwin Eduji Kujo, Tameklo, his lawyer, member, <laughs> NDC National Communication and Legal Team. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Steve Manteyao today again was unable to join us. My name is Samson Ladi Ayanini. Have a good afternoon.